Dr. Natoli of Functional Spine and Sport. And this is our second video on why you can develop hip pain. In our first video, we talked about overuse uh, injuries to the tissues that surround the hip. So mainly what happens there is you develop adhesion in those tissues. Secondary to that, what can happen is if that's left in there too long and left untreated and as your motion gets poorer and poorer, you start to uh, cause damage to the structures of the hip itself. So you can affect the labrum or the cartilage. And what we have here is a diagram outlaying the hip joint. So essentially it's a ball and socket joint. So we've kind of labeled here, this is the pelvis or the socket part, and this is the ball part or, or the femur. So what you see in green is the labrum. That's basically cartilage that extends the joint and makes it a little bit more stable and a little bit more snug. So as you develop adhesion around the hip joint, this moves a lot less smoothly and a lot less freely. That creates a lot of high tension points into the cartilage and into the labrum. So what you can get is cartilage defects on either side of the ball or socket where it almost looks like someone took a chisel and chipped it out. That can create rough spots and wear and tear. And you know, some people will call it osteoarthritis or degeneration. The other part is that you can damage the labrum itself if this thing gets too tight and really gets jammed around in there. And that's where you can actually tear or fray the labrum and that's also very painful um, and that can sometimes even make a clicking sound. So if you're having hip pain in the front or on the side and you know you have a lot of other soft tissue problems this could also be going on but you first need to get to a specialist like, like us that know how to measure it, they know how to diagnose it whether it's soft tissue or both and then we can go about helping you get through this and get this fixed hopefully without surgery. So we hope you found this video helpful. We have one more video coming up uh, in our next series that we talk about why you develop hip pain. And this one's also a very important video for especially for young athletes and people that like to do activities. Thanks for watching.